guys and welcome back to my channel today we're doing another dun dun anime review and today we are reviewing the promised neverland do 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 now what is promised neverland you may ask well sit back and relax and i am about to tell you basically promised neverland is surrounded by a forest and a gated entrance the grace field house is inhabited by orphans happily living together as one big family. Looked after by their mama, Isabella, although they are required to take tests daily, the children are free to spend their time as they see it, usually playing outside as long as they do not venture too far from the orphanage. A rule they are expected to follow, no matter what, however, all good times must come to an end. As every few months, a child is adopted and sent to live with their new family, never to be heard from again. However, three oldest siblings, they, these right here, have their suspicions about what is actually happening at the orphanage, and they are about to discover the cruel fate that awaits the children living at Grace for including the twisted nature of their beloved mama. Also, the ones adored at the mothers is not the real parents. The people living here together, which are there all together, 38 children, all together, are not actually siblings. The Graceville here is where orphan children live and are in place homes where 30 siblings and mama live happily lives even with nobody related. However, the everyday life totally comes to an abrupt halt one day. And so you think, well, where are all these kids going? Sorry guys. You gotta think. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where all these kids are going, especially as it's been going, we ads. Especially when it's been rated like five stars. You gotta think, 38 children. And, you know, they're abandoned by their real parents. You gotta think, mm, what's actually going on here? And these are the three oldest siblings, they call it Norma, Emma, and Ray. Are the brighter kids at the Graceville Orphanage. And under the care of the woman they refer to as mom, all the kids have enjoyed a comfortable life. Good food, clean clothes, and the perfect environment to learn. What more could orphan ask for? One day, though, Emma and Norman uncovered the darker than twisted truth of the outside world they have forbidden from seeing. Soon, they must make haste to plan their escape. Now, I haven't started this anime just quite yet, because I have to find another one. But overall, it's not that long of a series, like 12 or so, so you'll be able to, to finish it shortly with no problem. I mean, as I said, there is like a twisted fate and I'm not going to give too much away because I know what, kind of what the twisted fate is, but without spoiling, because I do not spoil stuff for people that are not, that's not my style. But, what I've been seeing from different clips on YouTube, the, the fate of these children are not good, honestly. And the fate of a particular mom in the series is not good as well. And basically, you got to think, 38 children and no one questions where all these 30 children just go to whatsoever. I mean, come on now. What is the government you need to like on me? And then like all these episodes, all these episodes don't have time. They just have numbers. Like all these are numbers. And all these episodes are just numbers. Like, no offense. I'm not trying to trigger anything or anything. But you gotta think, why are all these episodes just plain numbers? Not title names. They're all numbers and that's kind of unsettling if you kind of know what the reference I'm kind of hinting at without kind of saying it because I don't want to set people comment down below or just message me if you know the hint that I'm trying to do because um I don't want to say it without offending people I know that's still like a touchy subject you know so it's very interesting I think it's a very gripping story I think there's a lot of suspense to it overall without trying to get too late what's the other thing you're involving children and more children at that and there's 38 of them and like you know people are not going to question like a clean facility or care or test as they may call it but eventually someone's going to be snooping around you know so uh, overall from the story plot and the characters because you know children do tend to tug at the heartstrings just a little bit I would get this like a 8.9 out of 10. Until, until I watch it, my rating will probably go up. But um, 
I feel like any new children, it will tug at my heartstrings, but not in a bad way, but in a good way. Because these children have seen to have very strong personalities, and they won't let their endeavor to get to the best of them. So, I hope you enjoyed this and review for now. Check out The Promise Neverland. If you have seen it, comment down below in the comment section who is your favorite character. Let me know what you think. Do you think this deserves another se season? If so, and also if you read the manga, does anything from the anime derive from the manga itself? Well, I hope you have a nice day. Thank you for joining for my interview, and I will see y'all for another anime review. And see y'all next time. Bye!